Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at Galaxy Tab A8. This is a 10.5 inch Android tablet. This comes in three different colors, dark gray, pink gold, and silver. It also comes with three different storages, 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, and 128 gigabytes. So let me show you the box first, and then I will unbox it and show you what comes inside. So we got this front side, and then on the back we have Samsung Galaxy Tab 8 packaging contains Galaxy Tab 10.5 inch wall USB charger quick start guys Samsung terms and conditions and here's some little bit more info and on the sides it just says Samsung and here it says Galaxy Tab A8 now let me open it and I'll show you what comes inside and then I'll turn that on and show you how the screen looks and now, and I will also show you what kind of apps does the Samsung comes with. Okay, here we go. Let's put this on the side. Let's put the tablet on the side first. Let's check the paperwork in the charger first. So here we have quick start guide and terms and conditions. All right, let's put that inside. We do have SIM injector pin. I'm not sure if this is for the SD card. I guess we'll find out in a little bit, but it's kind of neat that it comes with that. All right, so here we go. We have the cable. It's a USB-C to USB Type-A. It looks a bit short, maybe two, three feet. And here is the wall adapter. Here are the specs. I don't see how many watts it is. I guess I'll find that out later. But let's put that back in the box as well. And I believe that's it, nothing else comes inside the box. Let's put that on the side. Now let's check the tablet. Now the tablet itself seems very, very light. I'm actually surprised how light this tablet is, which of course is the good thing since you're gonna have it in your hands most of the time. And let's pull it out. Wow, very, very slim tablet. Here we go, this is how the tablet looks. Very, very slim and light, I'm actually surprised. So on the bottom we have the USB-C port, we have dual speakers, and we also have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is very surprising. That's a nice thing to have for sure. And then on the top, we have the power button and the volume rocker. So I believe this is the microphone. And let's check the other side. We have another, could be microphone again. We have another set of speakers, which is quite nice. So we have some on the bottom and top. Quite surprising. I'm loving this tablet so far. And on this side, we don't have anything. But just look how slim this is. And on top we do have the front facing camera and on the back we have another camera. Sadly no flash but this is an 8 megapixel camera. We have that Samsung logo on the... Before I forget I wanted to show you where the SD card expansion slot and that's what that SIM injector tool is. I'm not sure how I skipped that in the beginning, I just didn't see it and it was so flush with the side of the tablet. But all you have to do is use that same injector tool to pop it out and then add your SD memory card inside. So here we are at the home screen. I'll let all the updates finish before I show you how the home screen looks. Now, first of all, let me show you the brightness of this tablet, which is actually quite surprising. It is a very bright tablet. As you guys can see, it's only on around 20%. So I can bump it up all the way and it gets really, really bright, which is quite nice. And um, here are some of the settings. So we do have the regular Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, power saving mode, location, screen recorder, quick share, smart to you. Nearby share, eye comfort shield, dark mode, do not disturb, call on text on other devices, Dolby Atmos, scan QR code, and you can also add some other stuff. Now let me show you which apps it comes with standard. So we have the Samsung app, so we have 
voice recorder, contact, Samsung Flow, Samsung Members, Samsung TV Plus. Now we got the Google Apps, which is pretty much the standard on all the Android devices. Google Chrome, Gmail Maps, YouTube Drive, Google TV Meet Photos. Now let's go with the Microsoft Office, OneDrive Outlook, Play Store, Galaxy Store, Samsung Notes, My Files, Phone, Messages, Internet, Game Launcher, Camera, Gallery, Calculator, Calendar, Clock, Settings, YouTube Music, Netflix, Spotify, Samsung Free. So overall, it doesn't come with any blood word that I can see. I mean, Netflix and Spotify are the only two ones that I can see they're a little bit unusual, but since we mostly use those two apps, most of us, that's pretty okay. So the screen is 1920 times 1200 pixel. This is quite nice on the 10.5 inch screen. So as you guys can see, the colors look really nice. It has a good amount of brightness, so you can use it outside or inside because as I showed you earlier, it's only set at, at 20%, so I can even bump it up, make it much brighter. But I don't see any reason to bump it up more than 20% if you use it on the inside. Next, I wanna show you how the speaker sounds since it does have speakers on each side. As you guys can hear, the speakers are very loud, so that's another good thing. And one last thing I wanted to show you is that back camera, so let's see how that looks. So I can definitely see myself taking some pictures. It does have the 8 megapixel camera. Now this will not replace your phone camera or anything like that, but if you do need to take some pictures in a hurry and the only thing you have is the tablet, I can definitely see myself taking some pictures with this and uh, let's see how this one looks and here we go so my first impression is very positive i love how light it is i love the screen i like the colors i love the brightness the sound is amazing it's easy to use and i love the fact that it didn't come with a lot of blood where it only came with two extra apps that i actually use so that's a good thing thank you guys for watching